So CSS is a wholly owned uh, subsidiary of the National Association of Animal Breeders. CSS started in 1977, first and foremost as a method to ensure the identification of the semen and the straws match the, the bull uh, that produced it, uh, so that there's no uh, calf ID mishaps uh, out in the field. From there, it evolved into uh, health testing of the bulls to make sure that uh, it's a disease-free product that goes in that straw. And as it has evolved into uh, a base export program, which uh, we work with the USDA in working with our standards that our participants uh, meet. And from there, they uh, have to do, if there's any additional regulatory requirements based on the health certificates, then, then they are expected to uh, uh, do those as well on top of the CSS requirements. We provide a, a good structure for the CSS minimum requirements for both the health testing of the bulls to ensure that the, the semen is identified and that they meet health standards. And then we also provide a, a framework for which uh, the laboratories have quality uh, aspects within their semen process to make sure that the, the semen meets adequate motility and morphology for uh, the product in the straws. So our testing protocols uh, involves uh, three layers of testing essentially. Um, by the time the uh, semen is produced for distribution and has the CSS logo. So the bulls are tested prior to entry into an isolation facility, so they are tested for uh, tuberculosis, brucellosis, BVD, and lepto. They are tested again after uh, 21 days uh, minimum in the isolation period for those same diseases. In addition, they're tested extensively for uh, trichomonas and campylobacter. And then while they're in the resident herd, they are maintained and retested every six months for those diseases to make sure that they're still uh, negative for those. Right now in the U.S., we've got 30 participating members with 47 locations that we audit. Uh, so we visit each one of those locations at least once a year. The international buyer will know that it's a CSS certified semen by, by the logo that our participants place on the straw when they meet those standards. With our uh, cross-reference database, the producers uh, have the bull uh, information available for their end users to look up the information on that bull as far as uh, the genetic uh, evaluation of that bull. Uh, moving forward, CSS, we continue to look to evaluate the testing strategies and the disease and to make sure that we're up to date on the diseases and, the, and that we're monitoring the right diseases or if we need to add any diseases for our program. In addition, we're looking to increase our beef cross-reference database to uh, allow people to utilize our beef cross-reference database on our website to uh, look up bulls and see where, you know, who they are and what their information is when they use that semen in their cattle. Uh, we have a similar program in, in the dairy side, which is very extensive and includes uh, information and genetic information of, of the dairy bulls that are uh, used uh, by our participants and members in NAAB. We've got a requirements available on our website for people to look at and see exactly what, what our program's about and what we monitor for and, and what we look at. So that includes the health testing and the requirements, the identification requirements, and the welfare requirements. You can buy with confidence with CSS.